our champion in Giorgio Petrosian. And I can't say enough about the other participants, including our runner-up, who showed such guts, such determination, and even though he fell short, he's going to definitely be back, and that's Robin Van Roosmaler. There are a number of other great performances here tonight. We, we would be amiss if we did not talk about the great effort in his first fight, defeating the odds and coming from the underdog status, Sandy Dahlbeck from Sweden. And the Karate Man, David Kyria. So here we have it. Uh, I have a few questions here for our uh, two semi-finalists. And Sani, against Sato, you seem to be outgunned because of the more experienced fighter, yet you had a certain timing that kept him amiss. Uh, did it surprise you that you were able to score on him like you did? Uh, okay. no, it's on, it's on, it's on. You sure? Uh, if, if we go on, if we go on paper, everybody should be winning. But it's it's who you are at the day, the day before the fight, and I think that I was surprised. I surprised myself a bit um, to have my timing, and he is without a doubt one of the best fighters in the world. And I hope that I surprised the people who thought oh, we didn't lose. But uh, coming into the, the semifinals. Frank Shamrock and Ramon Decker and I were saying, even though you lost, you may learn from that loss. <laughs> this guy? Um, all, okay, I mean, all of these guys are the best, and uh, I'm, I'm just honored to have fought for Ramon Osman and Yoshi Rosato and Juan Stilman. I, I want to be fighting for three years, so I hope they have a bright future in front of me. Well, we very much look forward to seeing you back in glory. Sandy Dolph, of course you can. And David Curio, David, I've got to tell you, you really impressed us in the broadcast booth tonight because, like Sandy, you came in and were kind of an underdog, but it was like you were so determined. What was the key to victory for you beating Shemsi Bakiri? Yes, I'm happy to win against him. And I had good preparation, I did my best. So I'm confident with my first fight, and uh, I don't know. From the work, I get the results. This my fight is my life, and uh, I want to make best my life. So I want to make best uh, my fight. And in facing Georgia Petrosian, what were the biggest problems that he gave to you in that fight? I think it's about. Uh, um, it's about. Uh, not uh, experience. It's about experience, but today I get a very big experience, and uh, my next fight will be much better than today. You should be proud, and your whole team, Semi Show, Dave Yonker, should all be proud of you. Let's hear it one more time. David Curia, one of our top warriors. Even though they didn't win, they made an impression here tonight. They came from behind and beat some very tough people. Now, I gotta tell you, Ramon Deckers was in the uh, broadcast booth and we're talking about your punching style. I was saying you looked a lot like Mike Tyson in the way you were throwing punches, the uppercut, the hooks. Is he one of your heroes? You have a microphone? Hello? Yes, he's one of the great fighters. I like to watch him. I like his style, so maybe you can. Facing Giorgio and losing, what do you think it was that he could do that you could not do? Um, he's very annoying in a fight. He gives you a lot of violence and yeah, it's, it's uh, Yeah, how can I say that? It's, uh, I don't have words for it. What's next for you? I mean, we hear a rumor that there may be some MMA in your future. Yes, I'm training some MMA and I would like to do some uh, MMA fights, so I hope I can do one very well, soon. We don't want to see you leave kickboxing too far behind because you're a great kickboxer and you're the runner up here. You're one of the best kickboxers in the world. One more time, Robin Thank you. Van Roosman. And now I'm going to give our translator, Carlo, 
a lot of work here. Here we are. Yeah, here we are. My name. You can translate for uh, all the Italian press. Giorgio, congratulations, first of all. And it seemed to us that your first fight, you fought conservative, and as each match kept going, you got more and more aggressive. Was that your game plan tonight? Da quello che abbiamo visto ci è sembrato che di combattimento in combattimento tu diventassi da conservativo a sempre più aggressivo. Era il tuo piano o, o cosa è successo? Beh, il mio piano era vincere, sono riuscito a vincere. Non è stato facile perché eh, ho sempre detto il torneo non è, non è facile, però ho voluto vincere e ho vinto. Uh, it was not a strategy. I was just focused on winning, so step by step this was my goal. So it was not easy because the tournament is never easy, three, three fights in a row. So that's what I wanted and that's what I got. Would you consider this the high point of your career? Consideri questo il più alto punto della tua carriera? Ma penso di sì, è stato il contro, è stato la vittoria più bella della mia vita, più del che one. Is that it has been for sure the highest point of my career. Uh, this one has been so much better than the, the other two victories that I had in uh, K1. This is my best one. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for the greatest kickboxer in the world at 70 kilos, Giorgio Petrosian. And now I'd like to introduce the president of Glory Sports International, Marcus Lohr. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, thank you, everyone here. And I just want to say a couple of words before I call up our chairman to uh, add a couple of words on top of it. Uh, first of all, you know, thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, it's been a fantastic event from start to finish. Um, it looked amazing on television. I spent a lot of time in the OB van there, so our viewers around the world, which was almost 180 countries around the world, would have had a really enjoyable time. But also, I want to thank all the fighters we have on the table here for an unbelievable show. All of you guys are winners, there's no doubt about it. You have no one lost here. And I would take it one step further. You keep saying he's the best 70 kilo fighter in the world. I think we've seen the best pound for pound fighter in the world here. That's my opinion on this guy here. Agreed. So, unbelievable job here. Before we uh, close the evening here, we have our chairman who would like to, to share a couple of words with us. Pierre Andorin. Signori Pierre Andorin. Uh, glory. International. Hi, hi everybody. Um, first I'd like to congratulate Giorgio for an amazing fight. Um, you know, it's a true work of art, I have to say. It's not about fighting. It's the pure art, so congratulations. Beh, intanto, salve a tutti, vorrei congratularmi con Giorgio Petrosian perché non è solo uno sportivo, ma quello che ha fatto è oggettivamente un, un momento di grande arte. But I'd like to congratulate every fighter as well. I think the new stars are born tonight. Uh, you know, I think I, I was very impressed by pretty much everybody actually tonight. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing all, all of you fight again in glory. I'm looking forward to the next fight. Eh, mi, sono, mi hanno molto apprezzato i vostri combattimenti, tutti, quelli di tutti, questa sera poi dovranno essere poi dati i bonus come sapete, eh, mi è molto piaciuto vedervi combattere per Glory e spero di vedervi ancora sul ring sempre per Glory. E we'd like to thank all of you for coming here tonight to Glory 3, it's been a sensational experience, the Glory organization is very happy and proud to have been here, don't forget we're coming back in December. So check us at GloryWorldSeries.com and if you're on Twitter, we're at Glory underscore WS. So please, thank you so much and that's the end of the press conference. Thank you so much.